use is a, a humanitarian causes when the bombardment and invasion of Gaza will resume. You know, if we deconstruct the concept a little bit, in essence, what it means is that you'll give people a little bit of food, maybe some medical supplies and a sip of water before you allow them to be killed. It's the equivalent of giving someone a final meal before they're executed. And it's, you know, it's not only morally reprehensible, but I also think it makes a mockery of international law. That this is not the correct response to an ongoing bombardment campaign of a captive people. The only response to this should be an unequivocal demand for a ceasefire and an end to the occupation of the Palestinian people. Anything short of that is complicity in what the Israeli regime is doing. And we've seen that, that a ceasefire is not only something that Palestinians are calling for, it's actually what people in their millions around the world are, are, are calling for. So many have, have hit the streets calling for a ceasefire. And so the fact that the, the Security Council can't even reflect the will of people globally, I think uh, says a lot about not just uh, the UN as a body, but also uh, international law moving forward.